Hello folks, this is Manny again, and today I'm talking about, well, it's a continuation of the maintenance for the BC-5. In case you missed it, I actually recorded a previous video and where I described uh, how, you know, the maintenance process that's going on. Uh, I also clear, cleaned up the, the uh, smoke exhaust, uh, ventilation pipes over here because of the fact that they were uh they had a lot of soot in them and grime uh, again i made the mistake of not servicing my my coffee roaster on a regular on a regular basis and so it ended up uh, and i thought i wasn't using my coffee roaster as much uh but a you know apparently i was and again like i mentioned in the earlier video i take my coffee roast over to the uh, dark profiles they actually do uh at the dark profile they do release a lot more uh, uh grease essential oils from the coffees and so even though most of this will burn when when uh, uh you know the temperature goes high inside the uh the drum the drum uh, of the your coffee roaster uh it's still probably a good idea now that i'm you know seeing here that it would probably be wise to uh, to clean it up on a regular basis you know so i'm flashing the light as you can see it's uh the back is pretty good as you can see it's pretty pretty dry but my area of concern is like the blades around here where they're greased up and it's no biggie uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some uh, uh i know the uh that manufacturer in the the assembling place here in uh buckeye they actually recommend that i uh, they use soap and water i'm gonna try i'm gonna try to do is uh do some warm water with some uh, dawn soap and just go around and uh wipe as much as the grease as possible um again i'm very very impressed uh with my coffee roaster it is uh, it's probably overkill but it you know uh when randy sold it to me he told me about how sturdy these machines were and boy let me tell you what they can't get sturdier than this i mean this is these these, these machines are heavy but they're monsters they 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 will they will definitely do the job and uh and uh if you take care of them right, they're gonna last you a long, long time. Now, I will say that here in this particular piece right here in this shaft, uh, there's a compression piece that I really had a very difficult time removing. But then again, because of the fact that, uh, that I hadn't serviced it in a while. So, you know, I, I'm thinking that if you service it, every time you uh, roll probably within uh, a couple of weeks or a month you know the, the basic uh, uh maintenance service that you're not going to have any problem removing this uh compression ring and i'm feeling the bearing it's it's uh, kind of feeling a little bit on the uh jagged side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grease it with a food safe grease and uh, probably that'll fix the problem it, it doesn't feel bad at all uh this bearings right here from japan and um I can't see the other, uh, well, it just has the, uh, mate, probably the making the, the models here. Anyways, they're good bearings. Um, again, the machine is very sturdy. What I used in order to remove the, uh, the, the, uh, this bear, this piece that holds the bearing, I call it a compression, a compression ringer that's holding the, uh, the bearing in place i use these and these actually are plumbers uh to remove the uh couplings from your uh your pipes such as the uh, shut off valves underneath toilet seats etc uh sometimes they get stuck and you know one has a very difficult time so uh, i use these uh, uh compression uh cooper remo removers and they it work really really great didn't force anything it just popped it right out uh, and evenly um i'm thinking that now that it's off let me check real quick 
yeah sure enough it's a, a little bit grease right here and it'll be nice and easy to come in come on and off so again this is manny i will post one of the things that i'm before i move on forward here and say goodbye i'm not too particular too excited in regards to these uh to the uh thermal coopers here these sensors well, partly because of the fact that that they don't swivel it's 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 a uh, it's it's very difficult to uh to remove if the plates or in this case uh, this uh, shaft here it, it it if it's not removed from the machine and if you're trying to remove these what it does is it's a, it ends up crimping your your cables uh, so you know i i if anything uh you know it's probably a little minor design flaw they could have manufactured these better but again it's minor stuff um uh later on what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove these pieces right here and i'm gonna go inside uh this particular area so i can clean the back back up in there and just a step at a time uh no rush uh you know maintain my uh clean my rolls trim this time uh really really focus on maintaining it regularly the other part where i will caution in case you do get a bc5 and if they have these these particular models is these two bottom screws are are hex screws and i want to say they're about seven millimeters uh, screws by it looks like half inch or maybe a little bit over but anyways the reason why these two are very difficult to remove is because they have these uh this uh this particular piece here which when your beans are done you lift the uh handle from the um hot air area the 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 drum release and all your beans will go sliding you know down this uh the slide here and down into the uh, cooling tray down here the problem with this piece right here is that you have really no space to actually remove them so you're gonna have a very difficult time removing them with a with a with a Allen wrench. In my particular case, I had to use uh, loosen them up a little bit with the um, vice grips here, and then little by little, uh, you know, tight tight uh, untighten them by hand, and it, it worked. Uh, later on, what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to see if I can find the correct measurement for the uh, threading and everything. For these hex screws and uh, probably order some uh, instead of allen wrench screws order some bolts that have a hex head on it and it'll be easier to you know tighten and remove by using just a regular you know regular wrench so a little minor stuff like that are the uh, uh, the little catches on these machines but overall again these things are solid are solid and and man i'm really impressed really really impressed uh again thank you for watching and later on once i start getting into the inside of the um, drum area here behind the uh behind the, behind our drum here i will actually uh, see if i can take more video and show you what it looks like inside the uh the component area here i have a feeling because of the fact that again i was uh roasting with uh um uh, at, at a dark profile that there's going to be a lot of grease build up in and around the area over here so um i'm finding it i'm actually using a a, uh, <clears throat> a, a wire wheel brush here this is about a two inch no four inch uh, wheel brush and this is the plate over here for the for the uh, front of the coffee as you can see this is where our spoon goes and over here is the uh the drop uh for that slide i was just showing you the metal slide and again um i'm cleaning all the uh the all this uh coffee residue and uh suit on uh, on the plate i'm cleaning it over with the wire brush little little easy steps Not, nothing hard nothing complicated 
and as you can see the only concern is i'm gonna see if i can find uh these uh rubber compression rings that go on the top they're still whole but because of the usage they're starting to show some deterioration on the inside so might as well get them replaced all right folks again this is manny thank you for watching